Hi, everybody. Sorry I can't be here in person to do the pre-lab with you, but we're going to pre-lab experiment investigation number 11, determining the molar absor absorptivity constant of a food dye. So you're going to need your workbook and your lab notebook. And the first thing you're going to want to do is on a new page of your lab notebook, copy all this information down in the for your pre-lab. If you can't read it from the screen, it's the same information that's on the second pa page of the lab investigation. So let's pause this video until you get it all copied down. Do you have it all copied down? All right, we're ready to go on. If you are at tables one and four, you are using the blue dye. Write that down in your lab notebook. If you are at table two or five, you're using the yellow dye. And if you are at table three or table six, you're using the red dye. Make sure you write down which dye you have and the concentration, and you can use the micromolar concentration. All right, now that you have that written down in your lab notebook, let's take a look at how we do the pre-lab calculations. We're going to use the dilution formula, which is M1V1 equals M2V2. Whenever you need to dilute a solution, this is the formula you're going to use. So I'm going to use a dye that none of you have, a green dye, 25 micromolar green dye number three. Now test tube B says it has eight milliliters of water and two milliliters of the stock solution. So I want to know what the concentration will be after I do the dilution. So the first thing I'm going to do is write down the equation. And then I'm going to put in the variables that I know. I know that I'm starting with 25 micromolar green dye, and I'm starting with two milliliters of it. I want to know the final volume and the final molarity. So to get the final volume, I go back and look at my data table. I'm mixing eight milliliters of water and two milliliters of the solution. So my total volume will be 10 milliliters. Now I just have one variable. And so now I can do the mathematics to solve for the variable. So I'll rearrange my equation a little bit, and I will solve for M2, which happens to be 5 micromolar. So in my concentration, I can either put 5.00 micromolar, or even better, because this is what I'm going to need to enter into my lab quest, 0 0.000005 zero zero molar. Repeat that for each of your stock solutions. So the next one will be have four milliliters and then six and then seven and then eight and then nine. And each time our total volume adds up to 10 milliliters. So do all those calculations and then you'll be ready to do the lab. Let me know if you have any questions. Bye.